everyone, happy Tuesday and welcome back to my channel or hello if you are new. So this week I'm using a leftovers kit, this is from Strawberry Line Designs. I have a feeling that I used the washi as it was so pretty like in the middle of my planner as full boxes which is why I seem to have a full page of full boxes left. That's the only reason I can think of. So I'm using that kit today, I'm pulling in the Mambi sticker books, I've got the Life is Lovely which is floral and the Productivity one and then this washi is insanely pretty. I got it from I think it's called The Works, I'll link their website down below but it came in lots of different colours and it's so glossy it's literally like sticking a unicorn mirror down in your planner. That's the only way I can think of to describe this kind of white pinkish colour but I thought it went with the kit really nicely. So I'm going to start with this unicorn washi, it's not actually unicorn washi but that's what I'm calling it at the bottom and this washi doesn't rip, I was trying to rip it like I would normally do so I just had to um, get my craft knife out and kind of score along it so that way it would tear. So we're going to go in day by day and I'm going to show you my new release first this week. So on Friday this is the new release, it's some more washi strips and these are the weather ones. So you've got windy, sunny, rainy and snowy. And the reason I'm showing you these first off is because I'm going to be using one on Monday. As I upload my plan with me's on Tuesday, I kind of, well this week, I planned Monday night so I knew what the weather was going to be like on Monday. So I used the thin washi strips up at the top as there's no headers with this kit or anything and it was very cold and very windy. I'm outside quite a lot at work so I can't remember if I told you or not but I work at Centre Parks and it was super super cold on Monday so I used the windy washi and then just a little pop it from the feeling sheet. And then underneath that I took a piece of patterned washi from the kit and just a, a car icon and wrote down that I have got work. So to fill up the space I just used my full box and then I put down another pop it from the feeling sheet to remind myself that I had to pick my son up from school. And then underneath there I just marked down that I had my food shop delivery. All three of my children had some homework or coursework to do so I just marked that down on one of the pop it highlighters. And then moving on to Tuesday I used one of the round stickers from the Productivity Mambi sticker book. And if you watched my Come Etsy shopping with me video then you would have seen that when I bought these little printer stickers from Legally Planning. I knew they were a good idea. So I used that to mark down that I need to print some orders. I'm currently printing orders, I think there's 27 sheets printing at the moment so I thought it's a good time to jump on here and do my voiceover. So I can tick that off and that feels amazing to actually tick something off that you've written down in your planner. I used a thick piece of patterned washi from the kit and a time for tea from the pop it tea sheet and then I used a couple of icons to mark down a few things so I want to do my bullet journal today and hopefully film it as well. I'm hopefully going to be able to do that today. If not I can do it maybe Wednesday or Thursday and obviously I need to do this voiceover. Oh my goodness, I can tick two things off already. Amazing. Then I just stuck down a poppet from the planning sheet and wrote down to pack some orders. To block off all of that time I just used another full box and on top of there I just put another icon and wrote down to upload this plan with me. I then took one of my YouTube poppets and put it down at the bottom so I can have a little bit of a YouTube binge tonight. Moving on to Wednesday, I used one of the patterned page flags that comes with the kit and another poppet from the feeling sheet, they seem to be really popular today, and um, I just remind myself that the children won't have a lift to the bus stop in the morning, they're going to have to walk, they're not going to be happy, I'm kind of bracing myself. And I also want to post some orders on the way up to the high school. 
So I put down the shock to pop it as I've got a meeting up at the high school and it's to do with my son because he has been quite ill lately so he's had a lot of time off so we've been called in because his absence has dropped down. I don't think it's anything like major because he has generally been ill but you know they have to call you in I guess if it drops down to a certain percent. I'm not sure how long we're going to be there so I just put down a full box and then at the bottom there I've just put down a checklist and I'll just fill out some things that I want to do when I get home. So flipping it over to the second part of the week, I'm just putting another long strip of the washi at the top. I then put down a header that says to go and I used another pop it from the tea sheet as I want to walk out in the morning and get myself a cup of tea. That way I'm kind of getting out of the house and getting refreshed, ready for the day and treating myself to tea, like not the bog sanded tea that I make in the morning, like a nice tea. I put down a couple of icons that comes with the kit. One of them was to remind myself that my cat needs his medicine. And the other one was to remind myself to print off some practice exam tests for my children because they're kind of revising maths at the moment. And I thought it would be a good idea to print off a couple of practice exams. I put down a full box and a large page flag shape sticker. I'm not sure what you call these, um, which was from the Productivity Mambi sticker book as I want to design and I use yet another pop it from the feeling sheet. I use the leftover piece of washi just to cover up that black line and then I use one of the floral stickers from the Life is Lovely Mambi book as I want to have a nice bubble bath and have an early night so I also use one of the poppets from the PJ sheet. I use the pan signed icon to remind myself that I've got a bill due. And then moving on to Friday, I took the um, productivity book again and just used this pink kind of tab sticker. And then on top of that, I just used some more of the floral stickers. This was just kind of really for decoration because I don't have any half boxes or anything. Um, and I wanted to mark down that I've got my new release. So on Friday when I know what the actual weather is like, I'm going to go back and stick one of my weather washies in. So I'm just drawing a box and I was measuring it against the washi to make sure that I drew it big enough. I also took some more icons. One was to mark down that I've got some happy mail due and the other one is to remind myself to take out the school travel money for next week for my children. I needed another one to mark down that I've got work, but there wasn't really anything that kind of matched work. <laughs> so I took one of these checklists and just snipped off one of the hearts and put that down as an icon. And then to block off the rest of the day, I just put down another full box. And on top of there, I put one of the clear quotes from the Life is Lovely book which says go the extra mile because it's never crowded. My camera cut off, I'm really sorry, I didn't realise, but all I done was stick the two full boxes up at the top. There wasn't a weekend banner or anything, so I just moved on and put down a checklist for Saturday. Put down one of my Instagram poppets, a phone poppet and a bin poppet because I want to take some Instagram photos on Saturday. I want to call my nan on Saturday and I've also got to clean the bins. Not that exciting. <laughs> Moving on to Sunday, I use one of the planning poppets to mark down that I want to film next week's plan with me. And then I used the last piece of patterned washi and just stuck that underneath. I took another one of the round stickers from the Productivity Mambi book to mark down that I want to have some family time because I feel like it's been a long time since I've just spent time with the family. I've either been working like at Centre Parks working or I've been designing on the computer or I've been editing, filming, doing orders and I just feel like I haven't spent a lot of time with them. 
Last night especially my son asked if he could read to me and I was like yeah of course you can and it was when I was filming this and I said I'm just going to film this, I'll be there in just a minute and I filmed this and then I was printing off the invoices for the orders that I'm doing today and by the time I had gone up there he was like a seep and my heart literally shattered into a thousand pieces. So I feel super guilty so I'm dedicating the whole Sunday afternoon is just for those. So for my sidebar I put down a full box up at the top and a little quote over the full box, another clear one and it just says let life surprise you. And then I put down the habit trackers which was from the productivity book, a saving poppet to mark down for my 52 week savings challenge and then I just wrote down next week and put down a checklist. And of course I had to add a little bit of deco down there from the floral book. So that was it for this week's plan with me and all I've got left is basically a few icon stickers. I hope you guys have enjoyed this week's plan with me. If you did then make sure you give me a thumbs up. Also if you are not subscribed to my channel already make sure you hit the subscribe button. We would love to have you with us on my channel. If you've got any questions or comments then make sure you leave them below and as always I hope you have an amazing week and I will see you all next time. Bye guys!